she should be the only person who can control her kitty cat. Her kitty cat is hers to control, not some politician. What's up, Bassa Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another banger, baby. A car banger. I'm a car banger. <laughs> the car banger's on the move. She's in her groove. She's pulling up to the Burger King with the major attitude. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am here for the angry whopper, baby. Let's see. Let's get it. Let's get it. But I'm telling you, I promise this time, it, you know, I'm not going to be crying itself. I'm not going to be crying. I'm okay. I am okay. Okay. Let's get this whopper. Angry whopper. Okay. I should get what they order in front of me. I don't got no money for that. I should do it. No, I'm here for the angry whopper. Not to order what the previous person in front of me ordered. Maybe I should ask what he ordered first. That's not part of the game, right? Okay, ask for it like this. Okay, I have a serious attitude today. Can I get the angry whopper to go with my angry attitude? Okay, so you want the single, double, or triple? Oh. It comes in multiple sizes? My attitude's not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got an attitude, but it's not like triple bad. <laughs> oh, no, just regular. So you want the single? Yeah. Okay. And I want extra jalapenos and extra onions. Extra jalapenos and extra angry onions? Yeah, yes, girl. Extra angry onions. Yes. <laughs> you want your meal small, medium, or light? It's still not that big. I'll take a uh, medium. Medium? Okay. What's the thing? Um, I'll do a Coke. Coke? Okay. Anything else? Um, and zesty sauce and ketchup. Zesty sauce and ketchup? Oh, okay. how are those bacon cheesy tots? You want bacon cheesy No. Tots? How are they? Um, I haven't personally tried them, but a lot of people do get them. Oh, really? I'll try them. You want to try them? Yeah, I'll try them. Okay. Anything else? No, that's enough for my angry attitude. Okay, it'll be 1189. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I should have got me an iced coffee. That's what I should have done. Why I pay here? No, this window look abandoned. Maybe I should get me a crown to go with my angry attitude today. Are the bacon tots new? Uh, well, they've been here for like, I'm gonna say a month, month and a half. Oh. Y'all know about the bacon tarts? I just found out. Okay. I don't know about no bacon tarts. I thought I was putting y'all onto something new. Hi. Thank you. Your nails are pretty. That's a pretty nail. Your nails are pretty. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Dang it. I didn't get my onion rings. Okay. Mm. She was nice though. I should have got the onion rings. Well, somebody in this car? Because you know people like to be staring at me. They be staring at me. Okay. It's empty. Make sure it's empty. Okay. Ciao. I am so hungry. I like to tell y'all the time. What time is it? It's two o'clock. I haven't had. I think about Clinton. Okay. So anyway, I'm telling you, you better get this angry burger. Get that angry burger today, and you get your frustration out. Let me tell you, that burger be tasting good. Mm. soda very very often but sometimes it hits the spot. Child, I'm hungry. Usually I have a cup of coffee but I didn't have my coffee. And I need to start to give me a little plate or something. So anyway let me get to this. Y'all try that. 
And I tried, I, I was too hot last time I was angry. Let me see if my fries hot. Ooh, they hot. Mm-hmm. You my fries. She was like, excuse me? What I said. <laughs> And like I said before, sometimes I like Burger King fries because they're a media fry. Mmm. Wendy's has a media fry too. <laughs> oh. Ooh, look now. They hooked this up with the extra jalapeno shell. The tomato is just falling off. It's sliding off. These are fried onions. They're different from the onion rings. Jalapenos. And the jalapenos are not that hot because I think they're pickled. Oh, child. I didn't know these came with single, doubles, or triple, something, something. I didn't know that. Oh, look. Look at the bacon. Oof. It's falling already. Look at the bacon. Is that the bacon? Look at the bacon. Care what y'all say? This is a pretty, this is a pretty burger. It's messy, but it's a, it's a good looking burger. It's messy though. So, before I get into this angry waffle and our topic for today, I kind of had two topics, but one kind of overshadows the other. I'll just say that not for another, but it's not worth the waffle. I'll just talk about that on my next um, video. But this one. I'm disappointed and I'm scared and I want to say thank you for all the people who show me lots and lots of love on the last angry whopper video and th today's topic is gonna upset some people but I feel as though we all have to agree to disagree you have to be accepting of other people's opinions there are some things we can't control some things are out of our control but we are entitled to our opinions and what we do with those opinions they belong to us my body my mind my soul belongs to me you know so and my opinions have nothing to do with burger king i am not sponsored by burger king these are my opinions they're not the opinions of burger king okay seriously but Thank you, thank you, thank you mm -hmm, for all the people who have shown me so much love. You are now my family. You are my family. <laughs> I always have people who always adopt me along my journey and passage through life. I will be okay. I'm still trying to figure things out and work things out. I talked to HR. <sighs> that makes my nerves bad. Anyway, that that was what it was they double charged me for insurance based on my hire date that's what she said she said it was gonna be your first check your third check and that was my third check so hopefully we'll see how the next check looks so that just made my nerves bad all the way around i met with my realtor right so it kind of made things a little more real but my realtor he kind of made me angry too <laughs> he's not cool he's not cool though but he bought pizza for the kids now he came over I had to sign over a whole bunch of paperwork then when he was leaving he was like I wish I could buy your house what wish I could keep my house sucker but it is what it is I tried I fought a good fight I fought a good fight but just fell short anyway let me get a few bites because this is oh whoa Oh my gosh, my stuff is falling out, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm, mm. 
Child, put a little zesty sauce on this next bite. Go ahead. Y'all got the next bite. Whatever you upset about, I'm going to take that bite for you. I got you. Mm. Got the bacon. Okay. I'm upset. Let me just get good two more bites. I get my onion rings. But I figured with those ball things, they weren't bad. I would just say try them out for yourself. I like to try new things, okay? So I tried them and I wouldn't be buying them again. But it wasn't bad at all. All right, let's get this. Mmm. 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 So. Well, matter of fact, woo, woo, that hit the spizzard. First of all, I was angry at myself for being upset. My last angry whopper video, but sometimes I feel as though. It's okay to break down. And I always like to say that I will bend, but I'll never break. Yes, my life right now is jacked up, but it can always be worse. It can always be worse. This is a temporary setback, and that's all it is. Because I always like to tell myself, and I thought about getting some merch. Right, you got to do that right in front of my car. Right in front of my car, you got you to gotta do all that. Line up the grass and cut grass. Mm -hmm. He's lucky I'm eating this angry whopper. Get my frustration out. But when you fall, get your tail right back up. No matter what it is, it is what it is. You can use your struggle um, as a growing. Excuse me. You can use your struggle as a way to grow, to way to learn from your mistakes. But sometimes when stuff be happening over and over, you're like, damn. But anyway, I know how to rise from the ashes like a phoenix. I have been down and out. I have survived growing up a drug addicted, crime written family. I'm the last surviving member for those who don't know me. I'm the last surviving member of my family. My mother, my father, my brother, my sister are all deceased. I was the first to graduate high school, college. And I looked at them as examples of who I did not want to become. So I know how to rise above any hardship. It's never going to be easy. No matter what it is. You know, so rising above the death of my mom. It, it wasn't easy. But when she passed, you know, when I think of my mother passing or thought of her passing, I thought I would be dead. No, I turned out okay. I kept it moving. It took me a while, but with time, I went through the natural process of time and all the stages of loss. And I got through it and I survived. I survived domestic violence. Yes, I survived that. I survived losing a house before. I'll survive this. I survived damn near being homeless. I'll survive that. It is a step back. It's not what I wanted for my life or for my children, but it is what it is. I got to pick myself up. And keep it moving. Whatever you're going through, cry, let it out, 
and pick your tail out and keep it moving. You know, every situation, you're not going to be able to fit into that formula. But for the most part, hardships, relationship breakups, maybe all this stuff is happening for a reason, child. Gotta keep it moving. I say let it out. Because sometimes crying and stuff is like purging for the soul. It does purge your soul. So I've been thinking about my merch. Something to do with the Phoenix. Because child, it seems like I'm always rising for some damn ashes. Can I not have to rise from some ashes? And sometimes I need you guys to say it's going to be alright. I need all of you to say you got this joy. It's going to be alright. There's going to be a turning point and this too shall pass. I needed that. I, I did and I appreciate it and I think all of you. No negative comments, no nothing and I do appreciate that from the bottom of my heart my whole soul. Thank you. This next topic. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. It's good. All right. Dipping my sauce in the, um, my fries in the zesty sauce. Babe, Some of you may already know about the new abortion law that was passed in Alabama. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, if you haven't heard about it, it's a law that was just approved. In Alabama, <clears throat> which makes abortions illegal, which only in one case you're allowed to have that abortion as if the mother's life is threatened by carrying out the baby full term, then that's okay to abort that. But if that baby or that fetus, embryo, whatever, is six weeks, and they say six weeks because that's when most most cases you can detect a heartbeat at six weeks. So they say six weeks. Before six weeks, I believe you can get an abortion. I believe. Most people don't know they're pregnant at six weeks. I know I didn't. When I got pregnant with Clint, I think I was three months by the time I find out. And what's even more horrific about this law even if you are raped or experience incest, you still can't have that abortion. So therefore, Overturning the law of Roe versus Wade with legalized abortions. So you know what this is doing? This is taking us back to people getting abortions, illegal abortions with coat hangers and all these other crazy ways to terminate a pregnancy that they didn't want. And could you imagine forcing someone to have a baby by a rapist or incest? How stupid is that? I wouldn't want my child bringing in a baby by someone who she's been raped by. It's like the rapist has more rights than she does. Her rights been taken away because you know what? She should be the only person who can control her kitty cat. Her kitty cat is hers to control, not some politician. And boy, do you see how these politicians look? All of them. Republican, conservative, 
men. How is a man going to tell a woman what she can do and cannot do with her body? Okay. You want to do the six-week law. But don't take away at a minimum. Then you saying rape and incest is not an exception. And if the doctor is caught giving an abortion, it's punishable up to 99 years in jail. 99 years. So therefore, the doctor, an educated doctor, gets in more trouble than the goddamn rapist. Does that make any sense to you? So, it would be a felony to abort the baby or for a doctor to do the procedure. 99 years in prison? Are you serious? This is a step back in the wrong direction. Wrong direction. But what worries me, I ain't worried about myself. What worries me is my two daughters. Mm -hmm. In a couple of years, they're going to be going off to college. How many girls are giving a roofie? How many girls are raped? You don't know you're pregnant. You just don't know. But with this law, that I'm quite sure is going to pass, it's going to be like a domino effect in every other state. Because the Supreme Court is now dominated by Trump's people. Conservatives. Mm hmm So, I'm more concerned for my daughters because they're at they'll they'll be at that age. I I I I I, I know. Instead of taking away the rights of abortion, excuse me. How about more education? How put more into education? Educating our lower income people or families or neighborhoods or communities about protecting yourself, you know, whatever. But don't take away a woman's right. What she chooses to do with her body. They were so fast to pass this law because Alabama wanted to be the first state, the first state that they didn't really think it through. Because although you think in your head you're solving one problem, but you're really not, you're creating another damn problem. What's gonna happen? Some girls get knocked up, some women get knocked up, they didn't mean to get knocked up. Stuff happens, okay. I'm finishing my burger today, child. I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen. Single parenting is going to increase. Child support is going to increase. Frustrated women are going to be increase because they're not getting the child support because they didn't want the baby. The dad didn't want the baby. The girl didn't want the damn baby. But now you're forcing her to have the baby she didn't want. Now she probably won't even get child support. I kind of know about that one. I got back child support that is due to me over $30,000. That will sure be a life changer for me, don't you think? Anyway, this is not about me. This is about the Alabama abortion law. But yeah. Then, these girls are having these babies that they don't want and that they can't abort. Now they're depressed. Are you going to increase mental health awareness and mental health hospitals for these girls? For these families? To bring in another child that they, they, they can't feed? And sometimes in the lower income communities, 
I mean, really low. Sometimes they just don't have any clue. But you're still taking away their choice. And sometimes the fruit doesn't fall far from the tree. Sometimes that's what they saw their parents do. And then when they get knocked up, they're like, oh, snap, now I'm stuck. Now I'm stuck with another mouth I can't feed or another mouth I can't afford. Then you have government assistance. Are you going to do more for government assistance? So you, 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 you think you're solving a problem, but you're creating a whole pool of other problems. And on top of that, then you have these girls having these babies that they don't want the babies. Now they're at risk, possibly, of going through postpartum depression. Now they may even hurt the baby that they had to bring into the world. Or their boyfriends may end up killing them because they don't want the baby or the responsibility of child support. Now, our foster care system is about to even get even more populated. It's going to be overpopulated with unwanted children. So now the government is still taking for those kids in foster care system. So you're creating more problems. Thinking you're saving all these lives for something that's not even viable outside of the womb at six weeks. Let me tell you, everyone is not going to agree okay with this new abortion law some people are pro-life and that is okay be pro-life go out there and pick it go out there and protest because sometimes that's what life is about it's about how good is your argument your persuasive argument correct how are you gonna persuade me lawyers do it every day but don't take away my right to argue that's what you're doing. You're taking away my voice of uh, my power of choice. Try to convince me to keep the baby. Fine, do all that. Try to offer me the different services to keep the baby for these pro-life people. But don't take away my choice. Don't take away my daughter's choice. Because that's what you're doing. Am I like, go home, oh, get abortion, get abortion? No. But sometimes shit happens. And now you want to take our choices and our voices away and what we choose to do with our kitty. No one should have a say over what I do with my kitty. But now you're taking the voices away of millions of women. Because all it's going to do is be a domino effect. And all our voices are going to be shut down because everybody's going to be afraid. We're not even going to be able to find a doctor. But we're going to find... Uh, Sarah Jolie in the back kitchen doing home abortions. That's what's going to happen when we just overcame that. Now we're going backwards because we have all these rich Republicans in office who don't know anything about the struggle, who don't know anything about trying to survive day to day because they got it like that. So you don't know what it's like. And one time I was talking to my attorney when I was going through this house stuff. And then you have to um, do all your bills, right? And then he was like, well, um, the, 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 the court system says that you spend 200 a week on food. I was like, I don't spend $800 a month on food. You know, I know how to penny pinch. And then he's like, well, that's the, the lowest um, thing that they'll, you could put on your paperwork. I said, you know why it's like that? Because they never had to struggle. They don't know what it's like to be poor. They don't know what it's like to live check to check. Because I know I don't spend $800 a month on food. But you know what? They go fill their carts up or they have um, Miss um, Mary. You know, Miss Mary, the, 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 the house lady, to go shopping or they shopping online and they doing their stuff. They don't know how much nothing that costs. I know there are some celebrities that never been in the store and buy a carton of milk. I, just, I was watching somewhere. They didn't even know how much a carton of milk costs. So, that is my gripe for the day. Crime is going to increase because now... These babies are coming to the world for the lower income people, the lower income families. Now you got to find ways to feed these extra miles that we that they couldn't get rid of.
So now crime may possibly go up too. You see, all of these things are going to start to happen because they want to ban abortions. But did you really think it fully through? And all these men, I think it was 25, 25, 25, 30 Republicans. How is a man going to make decisions for me and my body? What laws are out there for men in their bodies? Is there anything out there for men that governs what they do to their bodies or what they don't do? And the rapist has more rights than the victim? That don't make no sense. This is backwards. This is backwards. And then I think there were four states that passed the fetal heartbeat law or something like that because at six weeks they're saying that's the point where you could hear so they don't want you have an abortion um after that six weeks six weeks in a day it makes absolutely no sense and it makes me angry and it makes me fearful i don't even want this last bite this would have been last bite this is gonna upset me so it makes me fearful for my girls they go off to college i don't know what they're gonna do i mean as parents we want the best for our kids we want we don't want all these great things but we really do not know what they're gonna do when they're no longer protected by the parents i don't personally i don't want my 16 my 14 my 13 year old daughter having a baby some people do and that worked for them I personally don't want to and I am horrified and terrified to think that this law is gonna be nationwide I don't feel as though they have a right to do that is this even ethical and I don't have too much knowledge on it but I was listening to someone and they said that Trump said and they show a clip of it coming out of Trump's mouth that um his feelings on abortion but he was certain that the roe v wade law would be overturned once he got two or three seats in the supreme court and now that kennedy has retired they put in kavanaugh so now he, they have five um, republicans right-wing you know very conservative republicans and i think three liberals or something like that we lose trump wins that fight because roe roe versus wade will be overturned and abortions will be illegal we can say what we want about trump but he played that chess game real good Yep, he played chess like a pro. He made that move, waited patiently for Kennedy, brought in Kavanaugh, chess move played. I'm very fearful. Let me know your thoughts on this topic. We're all not gonna agree, and that's okay. But I still don't feel as though anyone has a right to say what I do with my body or what my girls do with their bodies I don't it's not right it's not right I don't want anyone policing my body you know so anyway that is my rant for the that was a good burger though if you have a gripe you go to Burger King and get your burger today and get it on out that's all I got to say. So give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I agree with what I, well, I mean. I, we have to agree to disagree. If you don't agree with my opinion, that's okay. There's no reason to insult, whatever. We have freedom of speech until they take that away, too. And you do know when you um, get arrested with a felony, because, you know, aborting a baby that's a felony, you know what you can't do, right? You know what you can't do, right? You know what you can't do, right? You can't do this. You can't do this. You can't do this. Yep. Your voice will no longer be heard. Your voice, your vote no longer counts. 
Until next time, I love you, I love you, I love you. I do, I love you so much. Thank you for being there for me, whether you agree with me or not. <laughs> I love you, and I do have another gripe. It's kind of funny though, but I'm not buying a burger for it. <laughs> I love you, until next time, later. Share the video too, okay? Make sure you share, cause I said so.